If race is the most contentious issue in American life, then surely education comes a close second. And often they're really inseparable. Minorities demand not just equal opportunity to go to college, but special opportunity. And to varying degrees, the government has supported that demand. It's an old story, but what happens when the majority is the minority and vice versa? We explain with a visit to Alabama State University in Montgomery. A hundred years ago, it was called the State Normal School for Colored Students. In the days of segregation, it kept black students in their place by providing only a limited education. Graduation Day, 1999. Today's graduates receive diplomas in wide-ranging fields of study. Tarakesha DuBose. But this look of Alabama State had to change. Andre McMillan. ASU was ordered by law to recruit minorities. Rosemary Heath. These are the minorities. Douglas Kirk. In 1995, a federal judge ordered the state of Alabama to pay a million dollars a year for 10 years to fund scholarships just for white students. Why did you want to come here? Because it was paid for. <laughs> do you think, any of you think it's unfair? I do, very. I think that it's definitely unfair that we're here based on the fact that we're white um, and we're given money to be here because we're white. However, I wasn't going to pass up the chance to have a free education. I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm just, I just don't think it's fair. But that's not good enough for Jesse Tompkins, a graduate student who says that any scholarship program that excludes blacks is still flat out wrong. Here in Alabama, we have a program that is designed to discriminate and is state supported. And that, says Tompkins, is a violation of his constitutional rights, and he's brought in a white conservative lawyer to sue the university. Jesse had a right to compete for that scholarship on the same terms as any other student without taking the color of his skin into consideration. The lawyer, Terry Pell, a former official of the Reagan administration, is senior counsel for the Center for Individual Rights, the CIR a conservative foundation. The only way to put race behind us is in fact to put race behind us. If you think the president of the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, Elaine Jones, would agree with that statement, you'd be wrong. I believe that the Center for Individual Rights has an agenda. Do you suggest that Jesse has a, a, a hidden agenda in all this? Oh no, oh, I, on this one I'm saying that Jesse is being used there are some who are saying you're simply being used by a conservative legal foundation that wants to get rid of affirmative action and that they're trying to put a black face on this no, no, I, it, action. That's outrageous. I am the one that went to CR in order to get help because no other group would help me. The NAACP said no, we can't help. And wouldn't help. I think it's the height of hypocrisy to start questioning our motives when these traditional civil rights organizations were unwilling to represent Jesse in a case challenging a racial preference which clearly harms blacks. In the